హాయ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ శ్రీనివాస్ మీరు చూస్తున్నారు కేఏబి టెలివిజన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈ క్లాసెస్ ఇంటర్ విద్యలో మ్యాథ్స్ సబ్జెక్ట్ ఇంపార్టెన్స్ కొట్టిపారేయలేనిది మ్యాథ్స్ లో సాధించే మార్కులే ఇంటర్ గ్రేడ్ ను నిర్దేశిస్తాయి అందుకే ఇంటర్ లో మ్యాథ్స్ కు అంత క్రేజ్ ఉంది మరి ఇలాంటి సబ్జెక్ట్ ఎంత జాగ్రత్తగా ప్రిపేర్ అయితే అంత మంచిది ఈ దృక్పథంతో ఆలోచించే వారి కోసమే కేఏబి టెలివిజన్ అందిస్తోంది ఈ క్లాసెస్ మరి ఇంకేమాత్రం జాప్యం చేయకుండా ఇలాంటి మ్యాథ్స్ టూ బి క్లాస్ లోకి ఎంటర్ అయిపోదామా డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ నిన్నటి ఎపిసోడ్ లో మ్యాథ్స్ పేపర్ టూ బిలో క్యాలిక్యులస్ టాపిక్ కు సంబంధించి న్యూమరికల్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ గురించి తెలుసుకున్నాం కదా మరి ఇవాళ ఎపిసోడ్ లో క్యాలిక్యులస్ కు సంబంధించి డిఫరెన్షియల్ ఈక్వేషన్స్ బేసిక్స్ గురించి నేర్చుకుందాం మరి ఈ టాపిక్ ను మ్యాథ్స్ బోధనలో అపార అనుభవం గల చంద్రశేఖర్ గారు వివరిస్తారు in ipe this topic is covering around 10 marks generally two four marks questions were asked one two marks question is asked now in the differential equation in this session we are going to do basics part first we will understand what is the differential differential of different order different order we are doing basics in the basics very elementary thing is differential of different order now you know that in y is equal to fx what is x called x is called depend independent variable independent variable and y becomes dependent variable in the same way if x is expressed as f of y then y becomes y becomes independent variable and x becomes dependent variable for example circle circumference c is equal to 2 pi r so the function is c the r becomes independent variable the r value decides determines the circumference as such r is the independent variable c is the dependent variable so this is nothing but f of c c is equal to f of r now we are talking about the differentials you know the basic differentiation which you have learnt in first year if uh, y is a function of x dy by dx stands for one derivative this is first order derivative first order derivative now if i further differentiate the same thing here the same thing per, further differentiated d square y by dx square what will be this this will be second order derivative second order derivative okay now the second order derivative again differentiated will give me d cube y by dx cube this is third order derivative now continue the differentiation d power 4 dx power 4 fourth order if i continue go on like this i will get dn y by dx n this is nth order derivative these are differentials of different order okay now i repeat what we have done so far we have seen dy by dx one derivative of the variable y which is dependent with respect to independent variable dy by dx d square y by dx square d cube y by dx cube d power 4 y by dx power 4 dn y by dx n this is nth order derivative so what we can conclude now we can conclude this first point here in the basics various points we are going to cover the first point here first point here dn y by dx n 
this is the one derivative, one way of doing it. F n x, the power of the function indicate, not the suffix, the power indicate nth order derivative, nth order derivative. Okay? This is the derivative of nth order. This is the first point. Now, come to the second point. Second point is, what is an equation? An equation is a, a open sentence containing equality in it. If you have x plus y is equal to 0 or 3x plus 4 is equal to 0, these are equations which are algebraic in nature. Now, x tan theta plus secant theta is equal to 5. Few problems of this model, these are what equations? These are trigonometric equations. Now, a power x plus 3 a power x whole square plus 6 is equal to 0. What type of the equations are they? Exponential equations. So, x logarithm of x to the base e plus x plus x square plus 5 is equal to 0. These are the logarithmic equations. So, equations can be any type. Now, what is a differential equation? That is the question. Again, I repeat, what is a equation? Equation is a open sentence which contains equal sign in it. If the equation contains what? Derivative, differentials. Equation should contain what? Differentials. Differentials of what? Differentials of differentials of dependent variable, dependent variable, differentials of different variable with respect to, with respect to what? Independent variable, independent variable of various degree various order, various order and uh, the equation must also contain dependent variable plus independent variable. Okay? Now, the differentiation may be with respect to one independent variable or more than one independent variable. So, how we are defining a differential equation? So, that is the second point here. What is the second point here you see? Definition of differential equation. What is this? What is nth order derivative? That is the first part. nth order derivative means what? That is what we have seen. Definition of differential equation. Now, an equation, I write it fully, an equation which involves, involves one, one dependent variable, dependent variable, two, more, one or more independent variables, independent variables. Third, derivatives, derivatives of dependent variable with respect to independent variables. The derivative may be more than one independent type. What are the more than one independent type? We will see now. So, the equation must contain one dependent variable. For example, y is equal to function of x, y, x, z and some constant. So, this is y becoming dependent variable. x and z are dependent variables. So, for example, simple one uh, dependent one independent I will take x square d square y by dx square 
प्लस टू एक्स वाई डी वाई बाई डी एक्स प्लस सिक्स एक्स सिक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ चेक दिस वॉट यू हैव हियर दिस इज एन इक्वेशन ऑब्वियसली वॉट टाइप ऑफ इक्वेशन इज दिस दिस इज ए डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वाई इट इज एन इक्वेशन बिकॉज इट कंटेन्स इक्वल टू सिंबल इन इट एंड इट इज अ ओपन सेंटेंस now what are the elements what are the equation consist of equation consist of the dependent variable y independent variable x and the derivative of the dependent variable with respect to independent variable now i said you can have the derivative 